Welcome to 2018. If one of the items on your list for this year is a happy, loving, healthy relationship, then you're in luck because The Bachelor is back on TV as a helpful guide. Okay, that's a bunch of crap. In this motivational firewood video, I will share three steps to help me find the relationship of my dreams and could probably help you out too a little better than The Bachelor. <laughs> Welcome back to the Motivational Firewood YouTube channel. Steve Gamlin here talking about quality relationships. If that is on your list for this new year, congratulations. You are in the right place. I'm going to share three helpful tips that will show why shows like The Bachelor and The Bachelorette may not be the best place to find relationship advice. Essentially, what they do is they find the most beautiful people they can, shove them all in a resort somewhere, let you have sex with each and every one, and walk away with either heartbreak and STD or a rose. Who did? In my world, there are three basic steps, and here they are. Step number one, figure out exactly what type of relationship you wish to enjoy. If there are people out there that have a relationship that you want to have, why don't you sit down and have a conversation with them? Ask them what they found attractive in each other. Describe exactly how you want your perfect partner to be. What do they look like? What are their interests? Do they love their mom? How do they spend their time? Start thinking of the qualities and the words that describe that perfect partner for you. Step number two, take a good hard look at who you are right now. Your attitudes, your thoughts, your actions, the way you talk to people. And then with brutal honesty, look at yourself in the mirror and ask, would my perfect partner, the way I've described him or her, even be interested in being in a relationship with me right now? Start to figure out what you will need to change about yourself to attract that perfect partner. And step number three, take consistent action to become that person you know that you need to be that will attract the person you wish to be in a relationship. Where do they hang out? Go there. What type of activities are they involved in? Do them. And if you lose track and you're not sure, go back to those people who have a wonderful relationship that you'd like to have. Ask them questions. And then follow the advice. If you're looking for a nice person who loves his or her family and is maybe spiritual or likes to give back or likes sports, whatever, it's probably not a good idea to be hanging out at 2 a.m. sloppy karaoke hour in the bar because that's not where those people hang out. If you're looking for people in a bar who love to have fun, great. They're open every single night. And good luck to you. 15 years ago when I was going through my divorce, I intentionally spent a couple of years not in any relationships. I read, I studied, I observed, I asked people questions about the relationships they were in, and I did a lot of work on who I was and who I wanted to be. And I've been very blessed for the last 10 and a half years to be head over heels in love with my Tina. There are people who say, we're lucky. Well, to that I say, well, in some ways we are, but in other ways, up yours. We did the work. <laughs> Hope this video gave you some good ideas, some good, solid advice. Stay away from shows like The Bachelor and The Bachelorette unless you're just watching it for laughs. If you'd like to have access to more pieces of motivational firewood just like this one, click on my face down there and be sure to hit that bell notification so you will be made aware when new videos come out. Thanks for watching.